Sailor. I'm Sailor. I'm going to be drawing Haikyuu from memory. Part 2. Nekoma Baby. Alright, gamers. First up is Kenma. The most relatable character in this whole show. At least for me. I tried to draw him looking a little bit distressed because I feel like he's always a little bit distressed about something. But speaking of drawing, today I have a surprise because I'm only going to be drawing the characters that I can name without looking it up, which means that this is not the final product. We're coloring today, baby! So I pulled out the colored pencils, I inked these drawings, and I gave Kenma that sickening yellow half-tone hair. All I can say is, if your hair looks like this, purple shampoo, toner, anything, please, please. I think I might have gone a little too hard on the contour for this one, but I think he looks okay. The color pencil ended up looking really gray, but he looks pretty accurate. This is one of those names that I'm confident in my pronunciation until I see comments on YouTube making fun of the English dub actors for pronouncing it Kuro. Um, I only drew one eye because of that hairstyle, that wonderful, beautiful hairstyle. And I originally drew the eye a little bit too big, but I corrected it in the final product. Um, I may have exaggerated his jaw a little bit too much, his hair's a little bit off, but look at this man's. Who is mad at me for that? I take notes from my voiceover, and my notes right here say, Hot. Am I too powerful? And the answer is yes. And yes, I did just hit my tripod, but you know what? That's just the beginning. You'll see, the tripod troubles will get a lot worse. Now, my default shirt drawing is this little v-neck with the layered pieces um that's not what the uniforms look like the uniforms have collars and stripes on the shoulder and i fully forgot i forgot what all the uniforms look like that's so upsetting i love fukunaga or i don't know how to pronounce it anyway i love this man's i love this character design this i could talk about this all day this show has the largest amount of unique character designs that I have seen in a very, very long time. Everyone says thank you, Furudate. And this man's is at the top in terms of ain't no one look like him because he's so unique and that makes him really hard to draw. But I think I, I don't know. His irises are really small in the show and I think the way I draw irises kind of took away from his uniqueness, but he still looks good. He looks like a baby. The fallout or whatever from the black color pencil, I don't know, that's the makeup term. Anyway, he ended up looking really gray, and I feel bad, but he's still cute. Um, his hair is so weird. I love him. <laughs> Speaking of unique, Inuoka is one of those that stands out amongst his team because his team has such small irises in an attempt to make them look cat-like, and his eyes are so sweet and round. I just, he's so cute. I drew him a little bit too far apart, but I corrected him right here. Um... Lanky McSpikehead, he's looking fine. I honestly probably drew his eyes a little bit too big, but it's he's cute. We're we're gonna roll with the punches, and those punches are me drawing eyes too big. Um, the colors turned out actually surprisingly accurate. We'll see in a second, but I think I drew his hair like coming to a point, and in the show it kind of like explodes. I guess Libros are problem children because Noya was a problem child and Yaku's gonna be a problem child, but this alien emoji mess that you see right now is not the reason that he's a problem child. The coloring actually is where the problems start, and it's not Yaku's fault. He didn't do anything wrong. Noya, he probably did something wrong. Um, I think I could have pushed his- he looks so angular in the show, and I think I really could have pushed that a little bit more, but the coloring- oh, here we go. I picked originally a color for his hair that was way too cool toned, and you see that it looks a little bit different. It's because the tripod fell over three or four times. Um, his hair is still too dark, and he looks so, so gray, but, you know, he looks good. He looks, he looks fine, yeah. Doubt everything, because I thought Yamamoto is just Tanaka, but make it bleached mohawk, and that's not necessarily true. I tried to draw them that way. Yamamoto seems to have a little bit of a longer face. I don't know. There's differences. He looks off. Something, Something's off. But I noticed, too, that Yamamoto has a little bit of a darker skin tone than some of his teammates. And in my attempt to convey that, I made him look yellow-orange with the colored pencil I picked out. I'm so sorry. I could have drawn his eyebrows a little bit thicker, which is a unique problem for me. 
I think that's what's making this drawing look so off to me is those villainously thin eyebrows. I should have colored his buzz darker and the show draws nose is so pointy. So Lev and Kenma stand out to me as looking the most cat-like and Lev is also unique in that his hair like moves around. So the piece that I drew in the front right there may not be entirely inaccurate or maybe I just don't want to admit that I drew him wrong, but I'll leave that up to you. Um, I wanted to make his nose look angular and sharp because I feel like that's something that's really important to Lev's design, but it ended up looking really weird and the nose contour I'm going to add in a minute made it look even worse. The nose contour was not the move. That right there, bad. His eyes are the right shape, but there's something, I don't know, something off. Maybe I drew his irises too big. So what have we learned? I hate myself significantly less when I don't have to draw glasses and sometimes colored pencils turn out gray. Tune in next time for my attempt at tackling Oikawa's hair. This video was made possible by viewers like you. Thank you.